So in the previous lecture, we saw how to create a button that was then assigned our macro. Click the button, it runs your macro. Now, something I also mentioned in that lecture, a very common question that I get is, hey, the button's great, but can I change the formatting? Can I change the color of that button? You know, whatever. We saw that we could do a little bit. We can change the font and things like that, but the background color of the button wasn't there. So a quick tip, we can use Excel shapes and then assign a macro to that shape, which then treats it like a button. Take a look. So I'm still on the same worksheet that we last left off on. This is the run with button worksheet. So I've still got my button there, but now I'm gonna go to my insert tab and on the insert tab, I got a section called illustrations and one of the options is shapes. Now you may have used shapes in the past. There's all sorts of shapes, ovals and rectangles and arrows and call out bubbles and all sorts of goodies in there. So if I give that a click, there they all are. I can take any of these shapes and I can make it act like a button. For me right now, I'll go to shapes and I'm gonna grab this one. This is just the rectangle with rounded corners. I think it looks like a button. So I'll give that a click. I'm gonna go out to my worksheet, left click and drag just to create that shape and I'll let go. So now I've got a nice little shape out there and I can change its color, I can change its formatting. Up above, I've got the shape format tab and you've got all your little goodies right there. So first thing I'm gonna do is I'll change the background color. I like the blue and I wanna add some text cause I wanna format that. So I'm gonna right click the shape and I'll go to edit text and I'm just gonna call this headers. That looks good. Now, if I click on it just right now, all I'm doing is selecting it. That's it. So I can click on it, select it. I'm gonna to go to my home tab and I'm gonna do things like make it bold and I'll bump up the font size. I wanna change the alignment. So underneath the alignment section of the home tab, I'm gonna do the two centers, both vertically and horizontally. And now it's looking pretty good there. And again, you've got all these shape, shape format options for you. You can change the border, the background, you can give it some effects like a beveled embossed look or a shadow, got all sorts of goodies in there. Now, if I click away from it, it's again, just a shape. I click on it, I'm just editing the shape. Well, if I wanna turn that into a button, I'll right click on it. And one of the options is assign macro. It's the same little window that we got earlier. So I can select our macro, I'll hit okay. And now if I hover over, oh, it's still selected. I'm gonna click away from it. If I hover over it, I've now got that little finger icon. It is now acting like a button. Now I already ran the macro on this data. I can highlight maybe row three. I'll go to my home tab. And you know, you could try this if you like, but I'm just gonna say clear all. Let's just get rid of it. And maybe I'll highlight this data right here that we formatted with the currency. Same thing, I'll do clear, but this time I'll do clear formats just to get rid of it for demonstration. So now I'm gonna click my headers button, nice colored button there. Boop. All done. All right, save you so much time. And now you got a nice looking button there. It's not just some gray box, which is great. But if you want to change the colors, use insert shapes, assign a macro to that. And you got all sorts of shapes you can pull from. So try this one out. Very cool. A little more presentation involved in it. So try it out.